So we want to leverage open source data to do urban analytics. And this is what I will show you right now. So this is the point cloud that I gathered from an open data portal. You may recognize AHN4 and also retrieved uh, building in Tiny from CTGML modeling. So the first stage, of course, is how can we extend that compute maybe normals and have it look nicer. And this is what we have here. We compute normal for each point and on top we place it very nicely and we handle all this pre-processing aspect. Then what I do is I will leverage the classification information that we have in the point cloud. If you don't have this classification information, you need to develop such a system that does that for you or that will detect specific objects. But this is part of the course line that I teach at the 3D Geodata Academy. But here you see that we'll be able to leverage the ground vegetation and building. Very nice. So the first thing that I do is I will create a, a request to find a specific building by using the Cadasta and my building and just extract um, an area like around 50 meters around this building. So this will be my area of interest. Now that we have our area of interest, I will just select the point cloud and work with it to understand what is the highest point and the lowest point to know if we actually follow the local rules about how, how tall we can design buildings. And again, this is automatic and you can see that I can draw. This is my tallest point. So we may have here to filter a bit or there is an anomaly. And here is the lowest point. So this is when you know you have a lot of knowledge about 3D data sense that you will be able to filter out if this is a noise point or not. Great, now we want to know how much we can build, you know, depending sometime on the local laws or your national laws, you may be able to build for a certain percentage of your complete uh, parcel. And this is what I want to check. So what I do is I retrieve only the ground points, which I have here, and we will leverage a 3D data structure, which is called voxel data structure that we saw previously to understand better how we can compute this array. So again, I just combine what I did before, my little request, uh, with only the ground point. And this is what we have now. So we will be able to exactly know the the point on the ground and how it stands. So what I do now is I take only the points and I voxelize this point. So now I have more or less a complete surface that I will be able to extract um, a computation from. And this is also maybe to show you the power of combining multimodal data where you have the point cloud classified, a little annotation for the high point, my building, and also the voxelized ground, which is more continuous here. Great, now with the voxelization, we want to know how much is built against what is not built. So what I do is I will color my voxelized data set in red and black. So red will be only the points that belong to building and all the rest would be black. Why? Because we'll be able to know how much is built in this area and if it respects the local laws about building density. 